Hi, so for today, uh, we will be using Dora to create this really uh, simple but creative website with interesting visuals like you have the uh, 3D animations, you have 2D, you have the cards flipping animation and then there are like buttons that you could interact with We will also be making like button components and let's start it So now I am in the blank page of our Dora editor I'm going to click on the container and create a navigation section. So for the width here, because we want it to be responsive to all kinds of browser sites, we will just set as few. So it would automatically match no matter what kind of device you're on. And for the height, we will set it as 6VH. So VH is like a relative value. So here we want to change the height of this page and in scroll, we change to vertical scrolling and set the page height as 300 VH, which means three full screens of scrolling. So I want to add a constraint because I want to make sure this is always on the top, no matter where I scroll. And then when I click on the white dot and drag, I will choose connect to viewport top. So it's gonna follow our viewport. Uh, if you want to learn more about the constraints, you can go to check our app tour. There's more detailed tutorials about that. And I'm gonna set the upper constraint as zero. And now change the color to white. I'm going to do the page button here, update. And then I'm gonna set the size as 20. In the typeface, I want to choose pop-ins for here. And the color, because and because I want to reuse this button again and again, and also I would click on this button to create component, you could also use the quick key, it's like command K. And so now after I create a component, this is the default state, I want to add another state. And in this case, I'm going to change the color to a full black. And when I select the default state and click on this thunder, I'm going to connect it to the state one and choose hover. And this will switch the state fr from default state to state one when I hover it. Because I want to reuse it and put in different text for the default box and the state one box is hug contents. So it's gonna, so the outer box is gonna change according to the content. And if I copy it, I can reuse it. To make sure these two buttons stays together all the time, I'm going to use this distribute horizontal spacing to connect them. When I drag here, I can set the gap. I want it to be 30. So now when I drag, it's always having the same width between them. And I'm going to group these two together and add a right constraint to the side which is acts like a margin and the distance would be 5 vw and i want to make sure this is in the center vertically so here let's click this one align vertical centers and i'm gonna bring in our logo as well so here select this image i'm going to adjust the size align vertical centers and add a left constraint I'm going to set as 5VW as well. To start with, I will do the subheader. I paste in the text and set it up. Size 28. Weight is semi bold. And I want to set this as hug contents. So the outside box is in the correct place. Add in the header, size 90, I want it to be centered, and use the black color with 2222, hug contents, then we're going to bring in the, another button, our call to action button. So first, let's build a block. I'm going to use the same blue color here. Dora it now. Oops, 
it seems that it's blue color so it's not showing so let's change to white and there's the icon i want to bring in so i'm going to add another image widget here shrink it down slightly and then connect it to our text so it stays fixed with 10 pixels so now i want to use this padding effect here to make sure it's sized correctly so let's do 22 21 for our paddings and then set it as health content and the radius here is 16. then we're going to create a component from here because we want to have a smooth transition when we hover it as well at another state so here, what I will do is change the radius to 40. So it turns into a fully rounded corner. And also like darken the blue color when I hover it. Give it a name, CTA button. So it's easier to source back later. And now I want these three to be all centered with each other. So let's click on. So for the gap, just connect it like this. Slightly open, it's a bit tight right now. And I'm gonna group it together. This is not gonna move, so we're just gonna connect it to the page top. Set 15 VH and Align horizontal center, so it's gonna be fixed tightly here. Next, we will be importing the 3D model. So click on this cube and drag the widget on the screen. And for the size, let's set it as 100 VW, uh, 100 VH. And then I will import the model. Just select the files on your computer. And so here, there's the widget and here's the scene and under here, this is our model itself. And here are tools you could move, rotate and scale up your model. First, scale up my model. And I'm going to rotate it. Okay, so now I have set to a place where I want. I'm gonna add a constraint for this to the page. So now I'm at 50. I'm going to add an upper constraint to the viewport and then add a keyframe. And then going to zero, I'm gonna add a fit, change it to 50 VH. So now it's not gonna move at first and then when it comes to 50, then it follows the page to go. And then next, select the logo and then going to 2020. I'm going to add a keyframe. I want it to start to move gradually by now. And then I'm going to drag to 125. And then I'm going to do some changes. And then I will also set the scale as 3 at this moment, so it also goes smaller. And then going to 200, and then I'm going to scale it down to 2. I want the front side of it, and I also want it to be slightly higher. And going to 125, let's add a keyframe for this 3D widget as well, because I'm going to move it up a little bit. And then going to 200, I'm going to set the upper constraint as negative 35 VH. So it's going to go in upper. And so now I have complete the design of our 3D widget. I'm just going to lock it in case I mistouch. And I'm going to, going to close it for right now. And now let's bring in the images. Drag a widget. Select source. Upload your image. Set the width as 20 VW and then height as help content. Do it for all three of your images and then select. Use this distribute horizontal spacing. 
and then I'm just gonna set the width as 6VW then I'm gonna put this at the center of the page we're going to change its perspective so click here and then for y-axis let's set as 60 I'm gonna rename all of them and then at 75 I'm gonna select this image and then add a upper constraint to our viewport and set the height as 105 VH at a keyframe and we're going to zero and add another keyframe you don't have to do anything just add one keyframe this will keep it stable so at 125 we can drag this up to a place where we want I'll place it here and then we set this y-axis back to zero so we're going to do the same process for each of these cards so now the keyframe looks like this when the card goes up it has a flip effect because they come up one by one so their starting point should be different which is like 75 100 and 125 then now let's add a text the size is 48 i'm gonna use the align horizontal centers and add a bottom constraint to the blue card i wanted to start up here on 185 so i'm gonna add a keyframe here and then go to 184 and to the opacity as zero so it's hidden before and last i'll be making the footer fill width 10 vh is height and then align to bottom of page and then i have a footer image so i'm just going to upload it Five pw to the side center to the footer container and i'm going to make some buttons right now i'm going to draw a black container first the size would be 18 and then I'm gonna create a container for this. And so here, we're gonna set the padding as 20 and four. Hub contents, hub contents for both width and height. And the radius would be 10. And add another state, link it, and choose this hover. So it's gonna change between each other. And for state 1, we are going to change to 25. So this means when I hover, it will become all round button. And let's go back to use this instance. I'm just going to copy and make all other buttons. Also select three of them and do a distribute horizontal spacing. Set it as 30, group three of them, add to the side, 5VW, and let's preview. So now we have finished all our websites and let's, so now we have, fi so now we have finished the page and let's go to publish the website. So in Dora, what is wonderful is you can use Dora's domain or you can add your own custom domain and it's really easy. You just need to click on this button, turn it on. A real-time live website is published. So next I want to talk about how you could build multiple pages inside Dora. So here in the navigation, we can click on the button. I'm just gonna change the title for this. And we go back to our home page, select the update button and at event uh, click on the interactions click and then 
go to page target is update and so click on this arrow it will bring us to our published page and then when i click on update it will bring me to this update page so this is how you build multiple pages inside dora and that's all for our tutorial i'll see you in the next episode So this is how you build multiple pages inside Dora. And that's all for our tutorial. I'll see you in the next episode.